Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In the last video of third standard EVS, we have completed lesson number one, a day in the garden. So today we'll continue with the next lesson, that is lesson number two, green wealth. Okay, what is the lesson name? Green wealth. So here green refers to plants. Okay, so in the in this lesson we'll be studying about plants. Okay, so let us start the lesson. So firstly, you have to understand types of plants. Okay, so very very rich than the plants though. Are really first one herbs. What is this? Herbs. Then comes shrubs. What is this? Shrubs. Then creepers. What it is? Creepers. Then we have trees. So these are different types of plants we have. So let us see one by one. Before understanding these, let us see parts of a plant. Okay. You can see a small plant is there. So the first, this part is called as flower. What it is called as? Flower. Then we have got leaf. So this is what? A leaf, then this long tube part, tubular part which is above the ground that is stem, then the part which is below the ground that is root. Okay, hope you are understanding. Firstly, the flower, then leaf, then stem, then lastly, root. Okay, three tai de la one do sassi one the sassi the bagran on or tai de villi flower ru who leaf ele stem andre kanda root and tandre bear. Okay, so even the stem na mele stem other the mele now classification na madi de herbs, shrubs, creepers, mate trees and the okay. Let us see what does it mean. So Herbs are small plants. Okay, if you see, this is a tomato plant, right? So, tomato plant is a herb. Okay, those stem, okay, herbs stems are very soft. Okay, so herbs, if you see, this is what the stem, right? So, their stem is very soft. Understood? So herbs ali, our one do kanda bharat telu agirta the soft agirta the. Okay. Aderiti coming to the next one shrubs. So shrubs ali na ekta dhari stemsu a bit hard. Branches spread out at the lower part of the plant. So ili nodi idhar do branches jo ili inda ne spread agi do. Oda at the lower part only. But if you see this one. So, the main, main, main stem is the same as the branches. Yes or no? So, that is what herb, where there will be a main stem. After that, you will be able to see the branches. But in shrubs, in the lower part itself, you are going to see the spread out of branches. Understanding? Then, coming to trees, trees have hard stem and they grow tall so you can able to see so the stem is very much hard and they will be growing very tall understanding then coming to the creepers creepers have long stems but they are smaller in size if you see this is what the stem is right so this is a bit long stem understanding Okay, so we have seen herbs, shrubs, trees, then creepers. So this classification is based on the height and hardness of the stem. Yes or no? Okay, hope you understood. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So what are the uses of plants? Plants provide us food, fodder, manure, 
fire root, roots and medicines and etc. Yes or no? From the from the plants will be getting food. Yes. Also manure will be prepared by foods by. Also manure is prepared by the plants. Yes. And the trees will be using wood. Yes. That wood again is used for preparing papers. Right. Then we will get plants fruits right and also some of the plants are used for medicines okay now there is one small work kids in your textbook they have given you this work write the different parts of the plant in the space provided i have already shown you in the previous slide right so firstly which part is this this is flower okay then this one is what leaf then what is this long structure it is stem then what is this under the ground root clear with that okay so kids near your home or in your home itself if you have grown some of the plants you will be able to see the color of the different parts of the plant. Yes or no? So, Nima Maneli, so Nima Maneli, other plants, Idre, Ogala Ele Atva, Kanda Atva, who color color Rutahoda. So, you can mention here the color of different parts of the plant. So, here they have given you uh, underlined, right? So, here in this space, you can write the color which you are able to see what is the color of leaf what is the color of root that you can able to write in this blanks okay this will be your homework for you so generally so generally leaves are green in color so remember this why remember this leaves color is generally green okay then why it is green that you will be studying in higher classes as of now you remember maximum generally all leaves color will be green okay then the stem is either green it may be brownish gray or brown in color okay then the flowers have many colors like brown yellow white saffron etc so it depends on the type of the plant okay the flower can be in different colors understanding then coming to unripened fruits okay unripened fruits means they are not yet completely fruit okay those are unripened those are generally those are generally green in color okay then the fruits at the end what you are going to eat the color will be different right so that may be either red or either red or yellow or green etc okay hope you understood this part then okay here if you able to see this is a plant what is this is called as it is lotus yes or no so lotus you will be able to see in the water right so if you see the leaves of the lotus those if you see those appear to be floating on the water okay so that is one kind of leaf structure you will be able to see then then some plants will be growing in the branches of the tree if you are able to see this is a tree on the branches of this tree you will be able to see some of the plants right these plants are called as epiphytes what they are called they are called as epiphytes you have to remember this kids okay plants growing on branches of trees are called epiphytes understood okay then also in this picture what you are able to see kids this is a field where you are able to see number of crops are grown right so in the home whatever we'll be eating rice ragi grains yes all these are obtained from plants yes or no so these plants like rice ragi jawar grains whatever we have 
these plants are grown in large quantity yes or no so to grow them in a large quantity we have we need a huge place yes or no those places are called as fields howda so ee belegalna belilikke namge ondu doddada jaga beku yes or no so aa jagakku nam enu anthertevi hola yes or no hope you may be knowing those are called as fields so aa fields alli nam crops na belitevi yes or no okay that is one thing you have to understand the one more thing is about i talked about manure yes or no manure antandre gobra anta helthe no yes or no so leaves in the wala plants of the leaves after some time they are going to fall on the soil yes so it depends on the season so when they fall on the soil after some days of decomposition they will become manure okay and this manure is very much helpful for growing plants okay so yelli manure iruttalla alli matte bere hosa plant belitade firstly one plant irutte a plant ed elegalu bilutav kelagade biddu solpa dinagala nantara adu gobbara aagutade it will become manure and there again you can be able to see small plants growing okay hope you understood so that is what about the manure you should be remembering so this is what this lesson all about you have learnt about herbs shrubs trees creepers and in the textbook they have given you some of the activities to be done like you need to collect different types of leaves yes and also you can use um, uh, like what your papers to cut the different types of leaves you can prepare that okay other than that you have to remember like what is the use of plant and also what is manure yes this is all things you should remember okay kids so this completes the lesson green wealth i am going to see you in the next video with the next lesson till that time take care read well thank you for watching bye bye